What's up YouTube? It's Elijah Wan Dream and we're back again with another NBA 2K24 new gen center build video. And in today's video, we are going to be dropping a 7 foot 0 pass first big. Now first things first, shout out to All Right Good Talk on Twitter and YouTube. Without him, this video would not have been possible. I was actually going to make his paint protector that he showed me, but I ended up messing around and I got this really cool build, the pass first big. Now he did send a screenshot of some other builds that he's made and this name was also in there and I would not have been able to find this build without him so please show him some love on twitter if he drops a comment on the youtube channel show some love to him if he does that so once again big shout out to all right good talk for this build but man i absolutely love the name pass first big that's pretty much my play style i do like to pass the ball and this build has been so much fun and as you've seen in the earlier mixtape this build is an offensive monster as well and we have good enough defense we get silver off ball pest on this build too and a 70 speed as well as some strength as well so we got great physicals we got good inside outside scoring playmaking and passing of course so let's get into it so of course you want to go seven feet tall and you want to drop the weight to 230 pounds and your wingspan is going to be seven foot seven and we can go ahead and click continue so very quickly you can see all of the attributes here very good inside scoring you got good outside scoring as well too at the mid-range that 92 pass accuracy 82 interior 68 perimeter 60 steel so you even do get a steal on this gold anchor gold rebound chaser 84 strength and 80 vertical and 95 stamina so very very well rounded all the way around i've gotten multiple triple doubles on this build 20 plus rebounding games as well this build has been so much fun so we do get a 60 close shot that ties in with the 80 driving layup so we do get silver fast twitch silver fearless finisher and i wanted to get that 80 driving layup so we can get hall of fame pro touch and we can get that demantis bonus layup package if you are a starter three as well gold giant slayer at seven feet tall bronze spot finder which is an extremely nice badge and bronze whistle and again like i said i want an 80 driving layup for that hall of fame pro touch but we also get some really nice finishing badges as well silver slithery silver bunny gold two-step float game spin cycle scooper and bronze whistle so again that's going to help you finish inside very very well and an 80 driving dunk this will also get you the quick drops off one if you are a starter three so that is extremely nice to have as well and you do get bronze posterizer a few repeat badges here silver precision dunker gold two step gold spin cycle and once again bronze whistle now standing dunk i've only went to an 83 on this so that does get you silver fast twitch silver rise up gold aerial wizard and silver precision dunker and as you've seen in the earlier mixtape you still can get standing contact dunk you do get the pro standing contact dunk le levels of dunks and again if you use the dunk meter your dunk meter is also usually pretty big as you've seen in the mixtape as well so again this is definitely has been enough to get your nice standing dunks and again you still have good finishing with an 80 driving dunk and an 80 driving layup and again with those 60 close shot you definitely want to try and do as many precision dunks as you can no post control on this build but we still do get bronze post playmaker and for our mid range we do get a 76 so we get silver catch and shoot bronze dead eye bronze blinders and that 76 mid range will actually get you that silver green machine a silver guard up silver open looks gold comeback kids silver midi magician bronze spot finder and bronze whistle once again and the 77 three pointer is silver catch and shoot silver claymore silver corner specialist bronze dead eye bronze blinders silver green machine silver Silver guard up, silver open looks, gold comeback kid, bronze spot finder, and bronze whistle. Again, if you play with the shooting a little bit, it will change the name of this build. I believe it might even become like a diming three point threat or something like that. I can't exactly remember, or it might switch back to a paint protector. But again, if you tweak a little bit of the shooting just a little bit too much, it will change the name of this build. And a 70 free throw, so you can absolutely knock down most of your free throws from the line. One point away from getting that bronze free points badge, it would have been nice, but unfortunately, still a 70 is good enough. And the 90 92 pass accuracy i absolutely love 92 pass accuracy that hall of fame break starter is extremely nice especially gold dimer that gold needle threader is a really nice badge as well bronze post playmaker gold relay passer hall of fame special delivery and gold touch passer which is also an extremely nice badge because as soon as you come down with the rebound and you hold x or a get that ball down the court with hall of fame break starter touch passer also kicks in and it makes your passes even more crisp and clean and especially with the silver needle threader you can make some absolutely crisp and clean passes with like an 86 six pass accuracy you'll probably average five to six assists per game with a 92 
you'll probably average seven to eight so it definitely does make a difference and on this build we do get gold big driver so we go with a 65 ball handle and a 62 speed with ball so especially if you get playmaking takeover or you get mamba mentality and you use the juice perk you can at least get like a plus 15 to this so you could get up to an 80 ball handle and a 77 speed with ball at seven feet tall and again in mamba mentality you get a 90 driving layup 90 driving dunk and 87 three ball or you could also get plus 15 to that if you do use the juice perk which i was also using and again even on defense 90 plus interior you can get that 99 block 99 defensive rebound the mamba mentality this build goes absolutely crazy and like i was just mentioning 82 interior defense for silver silver post lockdown but we also get gold anchor and gold workhorse as well i love 82 interior defense just because again if you match up against somebody that's going to drop step and post spin this is definitely enough to help you be great in the paint and again for the gold anchor it's going to be a lot harder for them to score on you than they think it's going to be and the 68 perimeter defense i've been absolutely loving this for that silver off ball pest again it makes cuts to the rack harder cuts to the three-point line harder it's just you get some really nice bump animations that just doesn't allow them to have quite as quick and clean of an animation and we do get a 60 steal for bronze interceptor so again if you read the passing lanes correctly tap square at the right time you can get those steals somebody's coming down the lane trying to throw a crazy pass through the key you can definitely pick that off and a 92 block you probably don't need a 92 block but i do love having gold anchor chase down artist and pogo stick and honestly gold chase down artist is actually super super nasty i've gotten some pretty crazy chase down blocks with it and even at times when i don't think it's going to pop up it actually does so i've been absolutely loving that gold chase down artist as well only a 58 offensive rebound unfortunately but it does go with that 92 defensive rebound so we can get gold box out beast gold pogo stick and gold rebound chaser again i play more on the perimeter with this build so it is a little bit harder to get offensive rebounds but again it is extremely nice and useful to have an offensive rebound but i had to sacrifice something and that's one of the categories that i'm willing to sacrifice because even with the 58 offensive rebound if you do get position and box out you still can get offensive rebounds and of course you still can get put back dunks as well too and the 70 speed at seven feet tall is extremely nice i love having this speed being get, being able to get up and down the court and 55 acceleration for that big driver and bronze spot finder and of course an 84 strength as well so we can get our gold box out beast silver brick wall bulldozer fearless finisher post lockdown and immovable enforcer so you got the speed you got the strength you got the defense this build is a problem seriously it is a ton of fun i've been absolutely loving this build and this build can also be a great 92 and under build i'll show you guys how to make that in a little bit here as well of course an 80 vertical once again gold chase on artist gold pogo stick silver rise up gold aerial wizard and bronze posterizer seven feet tall with an 80 vertical still a 77 wingspan which is fairly long enough and get those rebounds get those full curve outlet passes it's gonna be money and last but not least a 95 stamina to match the 82 interior defense to get that gold workhorse batch so there we have it the seven foot oh pass first big and if we go ahead and click continue you'll see that we get shades of demarcus cousin chet holmgren and joel Embiid. so some pretty nasty comparisons right there and as you'll see in the bottom left corner pass first big super fire name i absolutely love it and it's an offensive monster it's great on defense as well too the passing is so nice crisp and clean and i absolutely love the demarcus cousins comparison as well but you could also say this is like a Jokic type build i would say it's pretty good to a Jokic, except we would need some post control same thing for demarcus cousins and maybe need some post control and a little bit more strength as well but still holmgren and bead and cousins absolutely fire comparisons and next up i'll show you guys how to increase this build to a 90 overall so the way that i would increase this build first of course you want to max out your driving layup your driving dunk and your standing dunk so you want to get all those nice layup packages dunk packages be able to get your contact dunks and be able to finish inside and i also ended up maxing out my mid-range and of course my three-pointer shot as well too so that way we can get all of our shooting badges silver green machine silver catch and shoot be able to really be an inside outside threat off rip and i also ended up increasing my free throw to a 70 so if we drive down the lane get hacked whatever can knock them down and we also ended up maxing out all of our playmaking so we get that 92 pass accuracy the 65 ball handle and the 62 speed with ball so we can get that hall of fame break starter as soon as we can come down with those rebounds get those quick easy assists then get our takeover even faster and what i ended up doing was going to an 80 for the interior defense ended up maxing out my perimeter defense to get that silver off ball pest off rip went up to a 77 block so we could get bronze anchor at least and maxed out our defensive rebound to a 92 so once again you can get those rebounds as soon as you can and get that gold rebound chaser as soon as you can as well and 
for our speed, of course, max that out to a 70. Max out your acceleration to get that gold big driver badge as soon as you can. Max out that strength, of course. Max out your vertical. And, of course, max out your stamina. So, as we see here, we have a pretty nasty 90 overall build off rip. You pretty much have all your finishing, your shooting, your playmaking. You got good enough defense and rebounding to hold your own. And then you got your maxed out physicals as well. So, you can take this build and start going absolutely crazy in the wreck right away. And this will cost you 256,000 BC. And if you want to get this build to a 92 for 92 and under wreck, you want to go to an 82 interior defense, you want to go to a 60 steel, and you want to go to an 87 block. So you can get silver anchor, you get your bronze interceptor, and you can get your gold workhorse badge and have your max 82 interior defense. Once you do all that, it will come out to a 92 overall, and you can start going absolutely crazy in the 92 and under wreck. And so for the animations for this build, a free throw, this is a starter three animation, is the underhand. Same thing with the Dementis of bonus layup style that is also a starter three animation i will get to my dunk packages kevin durant also a starter three spin jumper is normal hop jumper kevin durant also starter three post fade is kobe post hook is joel Embiid. post hop shot is kobe and my motion style is also sabonis which is another starter three animation my pass style again demand sabonis dribble style i believe this is a starter three animation and then i believe these Giannis size up breakdowns and escape moves are all starter threes i could be wrong about that though they might be unlockable i'm not exactly sure i've never really had a build with this high of ball handling before combo moves normal crossover normal behind the back normal spin Joel Embiid I think that's starter three again I'm sorry if I'm wrong about that if you can put that on definitely put that on hesitation normal step back normal and the triple threat style is Michael Jordan which for sure is a starter three animation and the jump shot that I've been using you can guess it Jonathan Isaac base and Tim Duncan release and this time I mixed it with Mark Gasol so we need a 77 three-pointer for this base 40% Tim Duncan and 60% Mark Gasol and like I've said in other videos with the Jonathan and Isaac base if you go down one tick it does make it to half speed but you will get a C minus timing stability and then with this jump shot we got an A minus release height and an A minus release speed and a C defensive immunity I did have a little bit harder of a time shooting with this jumper even though I do have a 77 three ball where I've been shooting with 74 and 73 I don't know I had to get used to this one a little bit more I don't know exactly know why it was a little bit different for me but just getting used to another new build I didn't have my hot spots or my lethal zone so it definitely makes a difference but this is the jump shot that I've been using for this build if you guys have something else that you're more comfortable with with the 77 three ball definitely go ahead and use that and for the dunk packages on this build rim grazers got the hangs got the windmills the reverses quick drops of two i actually cannot get that unfortunately but we got all the basics we got the athletics we got the double clutch and we got the tomahawk dunks as well and for our one foot moving dunks the rim grazers the hangs basics like i said if you are started three you can get this quick drops off one which is extremely nice it's very hard to block you got your reverses you got your cradles again all the tomahawks that you can the double clutches and athletics and for the standing dunks all the standing dunks that you can get all the regulars the rim pulls the athletics and of course you want your pro standing big contact dunks for signature dunks we got Giannis, daryl dawkins absolutely love daryl dawkins dunk package Carl malone draymond green dwight howard shaq ben simmons carl anthony towns for the signature dunks as well and for the alley-oops we got our pro which is pretty much the only one that we could put on and there we have it how to upgrade this build how to make this build the animations and the jump shot all for you guys to start going crazy in the wreck with it but next up we are going to get into some rec center gameplay and we got a nasty triple double for you guys all right so here we've got an 18 point 26 rebound 13 assist one steal and four block gameplay on six of ten shooting and two for two from three point land unfortunately the beginning of the video did get cut off so i don't even know what kind of a matchup i was playing against i believe he quit in like the halftime or the third quarter or something like that but again just showing off the nice passing it's not too crazy an offensive gameplay in this video but i will have a separate 38 point 20 rebound triple double with this build as a separate gameplay video on its own i'll probably drop it a few days afterwards or maybe next week and i do have a shack build in the works as well too or it's kind of like the revised bulldozing slashing five it's a little bit different but again that build gets a 96 strength and it has been a ton of fun but just like this build also attend a ton of fun and the past first big it was just right up my alley i had to make a build video on this and once again shout out to all right good talk on twitter 
or YouTube if he comments down below make sure you guys go and show him some love for showing me the blueprint to this build again I still probably might end up making that paint protector there are some different variations that I found of the build that he showed me as well but again one of the variations was this past first big and I am a massive fan like I was talking about that 70 speed 55 acceleration 84 strength you get the big driver badge on this too with gold anchor you get open from three you can make him splash you got great passing you can still finish you got standing contact dunks as well too it is super super nice and like i was talking about earlier that 92 pass accuracy i think is really the most optimal you don't really need the 96 pass accuracy like i have on some of my other seven foot three bigs but i had extra attributes and i thought i might as well put them over there so i did but again with an 86 pass accuracy you probably average five to six assists per game with a 92 pass accuracy as you see in there easy fast crisp clean a full court outlet assists you'll probably average seven to eight assists per game easily with this build almost averaging a triple double with this build as well too and this build has been a rebounding machine i actually have been very very pleasantly surprised with it it's not a max wingspan but it's only three inches shorter which isn't anything crazy but look at the kind of finishes that you can do mama mentality with the juice perk i believe that should be about a 95 driving layup and again you got silver fearless finisher only silver pro touch right there and silver bunny scooper even popped on that too and we get a nasty snatch block that is what i'm talking about i've got a ton of absolutely disgustingly nasty blocks with this right there we do get bailed out with with the nice foul i was trying to finish the clip right there with a nasty snatch block like that and again you can see bulldozers popping whistles popping all kinds of badges are popping and this free throw is absolutely money too if you guys are a starter three it is kind of fun to try that out it's basically as soon as he starts like it's kind of halfway when he starts tossing it that would have been an absolutely incredible and one but they only give me two free throws for it so i think it only would have counted as a two maybe i could be wrong on that they might have counted it as i was shooting but again where i landed was definitely along the three-point line but as you've seen earlier you can absolutely hit your step backs and the kd step back and kd hop jumper is so money I have to release it a little bit quicker than what I was normally used to with the Jokic, but once you find the timing on it, it is absolute money. And there's definitely some pro play animations within there as well too. A couple of the step backs that I haven't really seen before activated and I was like, damn, that's cool. But look at that. That is what I'm talking about. 83 standing dunk. You can still get some pretty nasty contact dunks down there. The green window wasn't huge, but it's still big enough that as long as you time it decently well, you absolutely green that dunk on them with ease and get some nasty and mean clips. So again, this build contact dunks, you can still finish it. You got nice finishing badges. You can shoot from anywhere. You still create in the post with your post hop shots, post face whatever it might be your playmaking is absolutely insane and once again if you make this a 92 and under build you can go absolutely crazy get free rep a double rep during the wreck i was running with this build for one of the days and then i ended up making that shack build and ran with it for one of the days but it is an easy teammate grade it is easy rep you guys will go flying up the ranks no problem get to that starter three quick that's what i'm talking about the 80 driving dunk mama mentality you can still get some absolutely disgustingly nasty put back dunks with this build put back dunks are probably some of my favorite things to get in this game i only had aerial wizard on bronze at this point i believe and right here i do have to learn how to use that breakout dribble or burst dribble whatever it might be because you can absolutely book it down the court with this build that's 65 pass act 65 ball handle sorry and 62 speed with ball i think it is but again leave the build wide open he's gonna cash it but there we have it an 18 point 26 rebound 13 assist triple double with one steal and four block on six of ten shooting and two for two from three point land but again make sure you guys stay tuned for his 38 point triple double it is absolutely insane i have been loving this build i hope you guys enjoy it too and if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like hit that sub if you're new we'll catch you in the next one peace